Welcome to week six of NFL predictions. Now last week I went seven and seven, which means I have not had a winning record since week one. I don't know why it's so challenging. Hopefully this week I can hit a winning record. We're starting tonight with Thursday Night Football. We got the Niners headed in to play the Seattle Seahawks. Now the Niners, they're struggling with injuries and especially last week they lost Jake Moody so they couldn't actually kick the ball which allowed the Cardinals to pull off a crazy comeback and then Seattle last week they lost to the Giants. Now people kind of trash the Giants but I think their D-line is good. You know their offense is starting to get some things going. So this is Thursday night. Both teams desperate for a win. I think I gotta go with the home team. You know Seattle has a little bit of an advantage there and I just trust Geno Smith I think Geno can cook I saw him against Detroit going crazy and I think he could just win this game you know I'll, I'll take Seattle by only three points you know it should be a pretty close hard fought game but I think it's about time they beat the Niners. Next we head to the UK with the Jaguars at the Chicago Bears. Now the Bears are technically the home team, like only on paper. We know the Jacksonville Jaguars are basically London's home team. They've been playing there for a long time consistently, so the crowd should be in their favor. Now last week, both teams came off great wins. I mean, the Bears kind of cooked the Panthers, but I mean, pretty much everyone does. You know, that's not, it's not, you know, too surprising. And the Jaguars finally got their first win against the Colts. You know, Joe Flacco, he absolutely tried his best, but just fell a little bit short. But now since they're playing in the UK, I gotta go with Jacksonville they're just going to be more prepared like bro they, they're the UK's team this is basically a home game for them they're used to it they're coming off a good win and I think they'll do it again next we got the Indianapolis Colts at the Tennessee Titans I think the Colts are a decent football team they just came off a tough loss now the Titans are coming off of a bye week but just before that they absolutely destroyed the Miami Dolphins but still I just don't trust Will Levis I, I, I just don't man I, I don't want to pick their team Sure, they had that one good win, but before that, the Titans were basically the worst team in football. And if you look at what Joe Flacco can do, I mean, that, that guy can cook. He can run the ball. I mean, he put up a great performance last Sunday, and I, I don't see why he won't replicate it. So, you know, it's kind of a tough game, you know, divisional matchup. In games like these, a worse team can always win. But, you know, I, I just want to go with the Colts, man. I got to go with Joe Flacco. Next, we got the Houston Texans at the New England Patriots. Now, the Texans came off a clutch win against the Buffalo Bills. That's a really good football team. They'll definitely be in the playoffs. And the Texans had a crazy long walk-off field goal. Then we look at the New England Patriots. They're completely terrible. Their offense is like watching paint dry. Jacoby Brissett has just been benched. And he was supposed to be, you know, that veteran presence long-term. Like, let's, you know, let Drake May kind of chill out. But now Drake has to go in there so you got a rookie QB in that awful Patriots offense playing a playoff team of last year in the Houston Texans a Texas team with back-to-back -back clutch wins I don't see a way the Patriots win they're just awful the Patriots just got beat by the Dolphins who got smoked by the Titans so I, I don't think they're gonna win this game the Patriots might genuinely go 1-16 like I don't think there's a team in the NFL right now I want to pick over the Patriots e even with the Patriots as the home team there <laughs> There's not another team at this point. I picked Carolina to beat them. I picked Tennessee. And, until I see something from the Patriots, I'm not picking their team. Next, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the New Orleans Saints. Now, Tampa Bay offense did really well with Baker Mayfield, but Kirk Cousins, he's good in prime time. He cooked up 509 yards, so many TDs. Darnell Mooney absolutely carried my fantasy squad. So I question that Bucks defense a little bit, but we know that offense can show up. And then the Saints, on the other hand, they just got bullied by the Chiefs. I believe the Chiefs possessed the ball for around 40 minutes. That is two thirds of the game. Just total domination. Like I don't think the score reflected just how much better the Chiefs were. They absolutely controlled that game. Now, Derek Carr did not play too well against the Chiefs. There were a lot of like missed throws, miscues. Now that final time, Toss on fourth down was absolutely great, and I hope he makes a full recovery. But now the Saints are starting Spencer Rattler, the rookie. Maybe, you know, we'll have a Cinderella story. Maybe it'll just go off and be the next Aiden Daniels, but that is just more unlikely than not. You know, rookie QBs, they tend to struggle in the NFL. And just based on how good Baker and this Bucks offense is, I've got to go with Tampa Bay by seven. Next, we got the Cleveland Browns at the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this is a funny one to pick. I mean, the Browns, their offense has been atrocious. They have no plans to change their QB, even though Deshaun Watson has been absolutely abysmal. Then on the other end, you have the Philadelphia Eagles coming off of a bye week, but there are just so many questions. They've lost so many of their most recent games. You know, there's rumors that the head coach has lost the locker room. I'm unsure of the status of A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, but I think either way, the Eagles will still find a way to win this game. It will probably be a close one, but the Browns' offense is awful. They, they haven't cooked anybody. They, they've gotten beat up terribly. So I'm not going to pick them to win a game. You know, the Eagles don't trust their head coach. It's kind of questionable. But I think they just got a talented enough roster to get them to win in this one. You know, they got the home crowd with them. So I'll take the Eagles by three. Next, we got a great game with the Washington Commanders at the Baltimore Ravens. Now, it's crazy to say, you know, a good game featuring the Washington Commanders. But Jaden Daniels has been absolutely cooking. He has been unstoppable. And they have won four straight games. And then on the other hand, you got the Baltimore Ravens coming off a crazy overtime win against the Cincinnati Bengals I think the Ravens probably have the best offense in football but that defense is awful 
I mean, they, they lost their coordinator to Seattle, and that has shown, man. They got absolutely torched by Joe Burrow. I think Jamar Chase had, he had 40 fantasy points. I mean, it was... <laughs> It was video game like numbers, like come on Baltimore. So I expect this game to be really high scoring, but I'm just take Baltimore because of their experience. You know, Lamar got more experience than Jaden Daniels. You got Derrick Henry to worry about. Also, you got home field advantage, so that helps with the audibles. You know, the crowd noise is going to be absolutely insane. Now, I think Jaden Daniels can handle crowd noise well. We saw him do it against Cincinnati, but that's still going to play a factor. So I got to go with the Ravens. Now, I know I can't guarantee you when their defense is really that bad. You know, you can't. <laughs> You know, there's no guarantees here. Usually you think Baltimore has a stout defense. Not this year, but no, I, I'll still pick up by four. Next, we got the Arizona Cardinals at the Green Bay Packers. It always seems to be a really good game when these two teams meet. And the Cardinals are coming off a clutch comeback against the Niners. Now, during the game, Jake Moody suffered a high ankle sprain. Hopefully, he can make a good recovery. We have two lessons this season. The New York Giants lost to the Washington Commanders because they couldn't kick the ball. Now, the same thing happened to the Niners, so... Maybe teams will clutch up. Like, let's just have a backup kicker. I, I don't know if, it, if it's worth it. Maybe a lot of people will want punters who can also kick. Y'all gotta figure something out because it's gonna cost teams a game a season if their kicker gets hurt. Now, the Packers did beat the Rams, but, you know, it looked a little shaky. Jordan Love threw a pick six at one point trying to avoid a safety, but eventually they did get that win. But overall, the Packers offense did do some nice things. I like Jordan Love at QB. You had Tucker Craft going off at tight end. So in a game with home field advantage and the crowd on their side, it's kind of hard to pick against Green Bay. I think they got a really good QB decent offense but a phenomenal head coach and i think they will be the arizona cardinals it's going to be a close game these games are always good but i just think with home field and coaching i gotta take the packers by three next we got the pittsburgh steelers at the las vegas raiders now the steelers absolutely choked a sunday night football game it was tough to watch for them i mean their defense was cooking had a lot of turnovers was giving Dak all kind of problems tj watt was going off on the d line but on the other hand their offense struggled justin fields making some questionable reads but just with how fast and elusive he is he was eventually able to get the team two touchdowns but the defense ended up choking giving up a fourth and goal to dallas so now they head into las vegas who has even more problems than them i mean the raiders head coach was saying players made business decisions you got all this drama with Devonte adams like he wants a trade and now there's rumors who we might come back i don't even know what's going on and then i believe they're starting aiden o'connell at qb Blake, what Y'all don't stand the chance, bro. Like, this Raiders team is bad, bro. They lost to the Carolina Panthers. They got bullied by the Denver Broncos last week. And now they're playing the, the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. I look, I mean, I don't care how questionable Justin Fields is. Just his running ability alone. He's going to make a, a few throws. He'll probably make a few turnovers as well. But that Steelers defense is, is going to win this game. They're going to take over. You know, I, I'm going to take the Steelers by 10. I don't care if they're the away team. Next, we got the LA Chargers at the Denver Broncos. Now, early in the season, I was not too high on the Denver Broncos. They weren't looking too good of a football team, but right now that defense has absolutely showed up. That Patrick Sertain pick six was an elite play, and their uniforms were just too drippy last week. Now the Chargers, they're coming off a bye, but before that, they lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. Just could not do enough on offense to win this game. And just based off those offensive struggles, now they're facing a Denver defense that's looking really good. Bo Nix has been able to play decently at the QB position, and I just don't think the Broncos lose at home too often. With that mile-high altitude, I believe they have the best win-loss record at home just historically in the NFL and also I just believe they're the better team overall so at this point you know the Broncos they've been winning I'm gonna take them by three next we got a good rematch the Detroit Lions versus the Dallas Cowboys now when these teams played last year you know ended in controversy won the offensive lineman of the Lions you know he reported as eligible did this and the ref said no you, I didn't see it you're in trouble penalty boom you lose so the Cowboys coming off a clutch win and the Lions coming off a bye week but they had an insane offensive performance versus the Seahawks and I think that will continue now will Jared Goff's completion percentage be perfect as it was against Seattle let me probably not i mean you know what <laughs> no qb can really sustain that excellence but my goodness bro that last offense i want to be a hater you know i'm a vikings fan but bro they play with so much force with so much determination just tough running scrappy play dude they're going to cause so many problems for the dallas cowboys i mean that's going to be a wake-up call bro you're going from like justin fields can't really read the defense to jared goff you got gibbs you got Amon ross st brown poof i mean now dallas does have a chance i think Dak can absolutely torch the lions defense i think their defensive coordinator needs to be replaced it looks like he calls stock plays from madden i don't really trust that lions defense but i think their offense is so good that i gotta pick him in this game you know i'll take the lions by seven next we got the atlanta falcons at the carolina panthers now kirk cousins coming off a historical 
historical performance. Primetime Kirk Cousins, 509 yards, as I said. Four touchdowns, I believe. My go, I still support him. I still love him. And now he's playing the Carolina Panthers. I mean, their defense has been getting torched by everyone. Just last week, they got torched by Caleb Williams in his rookie season. Like, I have no hope in them. Kirk Cousins is going to demolish them. It got so bad last week, they put back in Bryce Young. Two weeks after benching him, they're like, okay, Andy Dalton is the fourth quarter. We're going to go put in Bryce. Just, just a total conundrum just total confusion just no order nothing makes sense with the carolina panthers so i'm not picking them to win this game you know i got the falcons by how high do we want to go Let, let's go with 14 I, I think that's fair man i'll take atlanta by 14 next we get to sunday night football with the cincinnati Bengals at the new york giants now this is an interesting one to pick i mean the Bengals offense They've been cooking. Joe Burrow, he cooked against Washington. His defense got torched. He cooks against Baltimore. His defense gets torched. And then on the other hand, you got the Giants actually winning some games. They have a great defensive line. I guess Daniel Jones has figured out to do enough. But I, I think at this point, the Bengals will turn it around. Like, at some point, I trust that Lou Anarumo will eventually get this defense cooking. He's done a great job over the past few years. He's caused problems for Patrick Mahomes, who is the GOAT. And I, I think he should be able to do enough against Daniel Jones. Okay, Daniel Jones, he's probably a top 20 QB. You know, he's not the worst ever, but come on now. He's, he's not that good. I think the Bengals will finally turn around. There, there's no problems with the offense. Okay, you got Jamar Chase. You got Joe Burrow. They'll be fine. And I, I think eventually their defense is going to show up, and they'll do just enough to win this game. I'll take the Bengals by three. Finally, we get to Monday Night Football with the Buffalo Bills at the New York Jets. Now, both these teams coming off of brutal losses. You know, the Buffalo Bills to the Jets and the New York Jets to my Minnesota Vikings in the UK. A loss so bad that their head coach got fired. So now Robert Sala's out of the building. His defensive coordinator is now the head coach. Aaron Rodgers is claiming he had nothing to do with it. Just total chaos there. Dumpster fire of an organization. They're right up there with Carolina as far as bad ownership. So I, I don't trust him to win this game. It's been total chaos. Why should they? You know, Aaron Rodgers had that one game against the New England Patriots. He looked like the absolute GOAT. But since then, it, it's been terrible. So now they're playing a Buffalo Bills team. I'm sure they've had two losses but that's against good teams they lost to the Ravens they lost to the Texans I think Josh Allen and the Bills should be able to win this game you know it'll be close because it's a divisional game but I'm not going to pick the Jets until I see that offense actually pick up the steam and cook again and as long as the Bills got Allen they have a chance to win any game and I believe they'll win this game by six so those are my week six picks comment down below your thoughts and what you disagree with like and sub thanks for watching and lace up